First reading, a reading from the prophet Hosea, chapter 14, verses 1 to 10. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with your words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all his iniquity, and receive what is good that we may render, as offerings the bullocks from our stalls. Isaria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall not say no more, our God, to the work of our hands, for in you the orphan finds compassion. I will not heal their defection, says the Lord. I will love them freely, for my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the dew for Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar and put forth his shoots. His splendor shall be like the olive tree and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again they shall dwell in his shade and raise again. They shall blossom like the wine and his fame like the wine of Lebanon. Epriam, what more has he to do with the idols? I have humbled him, but I will prosper him. I am like a verdant cypress tree, because of you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord, in the just walk, but the sinners stumble in them. The Word of the Lord Gospel reading according to St. Mark, chapter 12, verses 28 to 34. One of the scribes came near and heard them disputing with one another, and seeing that he answered them well, he asked him, Which commandment is the first of all? Jesus answered, The first is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Therefore, there is no other commandment greater than this. Then the scribe said to him, You are right, teacher. You have truly said that he is one and besides him there is no other and to love him with all the heart and with all the understanding and with all the strength and to love one's neighbor as oneself. This is much more important than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. When Jesus saw that he answered wisely, he said to him, you are not far from the kingdom of God. After that, no one dared to ask him any question. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, in today's Gospel, we listened to the commandments of Christ. He summarized all the commandments into two. or One, the commandment, commandment of love and loving God and loving the neighbour. Loving God with our whole heart, strength, soul, mind and body. And loving the neighbour like as we love ourselves. These are the two basic commandments of Christianity. This Lent season we are called to examine our conscience, our minds and to see whether have we fulfilled these commandments or are we fulfilling these commandments do we love God to the fullest? St. Augustine told, Love God and do whatever you like to do. In other words, if you love God, you cannot do everything. You will do only the things that please us, that love. And second thing is, love your neighbour. 
as you love yourself. Loving my neighbor is easy, but can I love my neighbor as I love myself? I love myself to the more I maximum. I like to treat myself well, clothe myself, feed myself, and to give everything to myself. But can I do the same to my neighbor? That is the challenge, dear friends. This Lent season, we do a lot of sacrifices, penance, fasting, abstinence. But those sacrifices must lead us to do something good to the neighbor. So am I helping my neighbor, those who are less privileged, those who have less thing to eat, to drink than me? How well am I caring for others? Alms giving. On Ash Wednesday, we listen to the word of God. Jesus says, what your right hand does, the left, left hand must not know. So in that case, do I do that? Am I giving alms? Am I helping my neighbor? My fasting should be only seen by God. Alms giving only seen by God. My prayer too. So, am I doing that? Because we are supposed to abstain from certain things that give our bodies pleasure. Sleep, drink, food, whatever that pleases this body, we try to cut short. We try to control it this Lent season and have self-control, have the body in order, all the desires, and give that what we save to the neighbor. That is the correct way of doing it. Am I doing that? Let us question ourselves. How do I love my neighbor? And how well do I love my God? Can I love God to the fullest with my whole self? These two questions on love, we need to ponder every day, dear friends. Let us ask this Lent season especially, how well do I fulfill these two commandments? Amen.